Hi friends, in this video, we are going to see initial and final value theorem in Z transform. First, we will take initial value theorem. Sometimes it is necessary to find out what is the initial value of signal or what is the final value of signal. At that time, even if you don't know the signal expression, but by looking at the Z transform, we can figure out what could be the initial or final value. So it says x of 0 is nothing but the initial value of a signal is given as limit z tending to infinity x of z is called as initial value of x of n. And final value theorem tells a final value which can be obtained without knowing the signal. It says limit n tending to infinity x of n nothing but a final value of signal is given as limit z tending to 1 z minus 1 into x of z so over here the left side is nothing but kind of x of infinity or you can say final value of z let's illustrate this with a simple example We have x of z as 1 upon 1 plus 2z inverse minus 3z raised to minus 2. So if I simplify this, I will get z square upon z square plus 2z minus 3. So over here, this is the x of z I will get and let's find out the initial value initial value will be x of 0 nothing but limit z tending to infinity z square upon z square plus 2z minus 3. So, how we are going to solve this? We will simply divide numerator and denominator by z square to obtain 1 upon 1 plus 2 by z minus 3 by z square. And if I apply the limit, what we will get? x of 0 as 1 upon 1 plus 2 upon infinity minus 3 upon infinity square. So, in the end, 1 upon 1 plus 0 minus 0, the so answer will be 1. So, basically, initial value I will get as 1. Let's check the final value. For final value, it is limit n tend to infinity x of n, nothing but limit z tend to 1, z minus 1, x of z. So, this will be x of z as we know it is z square upon z square plus 2z minus 3. If you see properly, this can be factorized into 
टू फैक्टर्स एंड दोज आर सेड प्लस थ्री एंड सेड माइनस वन सिंस सेड टेंडिंग टू वन दैट मीन्स सेड माइनस वन नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो वी कैन कैंसल दिस एंड अप्लाइंग लिमिट्स वी विल गेट final value as one square upon one plus three which is nothing but one by four so initial value of x of n is one and final value is one by four let's check our answer by doing a inverse z transform quickly let's find out final and initial value of uh, by checking x of n since x of z is given as 1 upon 1 plus 2 z inverse minus 3 z raised to minus 2 if simplification is z square upon z square plus 2 z minus 3 so what we are going to do from x of z we are going to get a uh, x of n by inverse z transform so for this purpose We have just simplified like this. X of z by z as z upon z plus three z minus one, and we are going to get a partial fraction for this as a upon z plus three plus b upon z minus one, and a is obtained from this by putting z equal to minus three, which is Minus three upon minus three minus one, so then it is three by four, and b is z upon z plus three for z equal to one, which is one upon one plus three one by four. So in the end, I can say x of z by z is nothing but three by four upon Z plus three plus one by four upon z minus one. So x of z I obtain like three by four of z upon z plus three plus one by four to z upon z minus one. And we know if we simplify this, we'll get x of z as Three by four, one upon one plus three z inverse plus one by four, one upon one minus z inverse, and this is in a proper form. Inverse z transform very easily we can obtain as x of n three by four. So minus three. Raise to n q of n, and over here it's a one by four. One raise to n q of n. So we have this as a x of n. And let's check the initial and final value. So for initial value, if I put n equal to Zero, I will get x of zero as three by four minus three raised to zero, and for u of zero is one only. Over here, so one. So in the end, it is three by four plus one by four. Ultimately, answer will be one, which we obtain in first place. So by signal also, we are getting initial value as. One and the final value for n equal to infinity, we can say it is x of infinity is nothing but three by four minus three raised to infinity. Q of infinity is one only plus one by four 
1 plus 2 infinity e of infinity over here it's a minus 3 raised to infinity so we can say this tend to be 0 and ultimately 1 raised to anything is 1 only x of infinity we obtain as a 1 by 4 so final value through the signal is 1 by 4 and through the transform is also 1 by 4 so thing is that why z transform is very very important because just by having the z transform without knowing what could be the signal we can get its initial and final value for the analysis purpose.